well, howdy students. Now we're going to take the six two-minute quick draws and we're going to incorporate it into one painting. Okay, I'm going to start in the mountains like we did with the quick draws. First I'm going to put a little sky in up here and I'm going to do a mountain. So I'll pop some of this on. This has got a quite a bit of viridian in it. Here in the northwest you can use a lot of the little light green viridian in your skies and it lends itself good to that. And I use a knife like this it's when I'm making these uh, mountain peaks. And everything will be shooting up. One thing to remember your vertical lines lose the light, your horizontal lines pick up light, mostly in the outdoors. Now I'm going to step back and take a peek at what I'm doing to see if I'm getting the balance. And that's somewhat perfect for what I want to do. It's, uh, I couldn't quite get it any better right now. And then you take it, you figure the light's coming from this way, and you drag it down this way. Keep coming down with that like that. And this again will push it back. Just suggest some trees in here. See, light, where the light hits makes, makes the rocks, you get them in the shape they... I'll go over to here a little bit. Now I'm going to start putting some reds in down in here. That's a little bit too much. Go with a little bit of green and a little blue in it. Tone it down. There it is just so you can see it, like you glance, and there it is. I have to lower this to get it be, to come out of there. So I have to watch my depth at all times with this stuff. Get the boulders in here around it. See, when I put that big tree in here, it shoves everything back. I have to make it go. The tree come all the way down to here to make everything just stay in order. Get a little red, start getting some warmth in. Because the way my composition is, it's calling for it more trees, like in this area. And everybody makes a mistake. I better back up while I'm doing this, see what I'm doing.
I'm going to start with that water because I'm going to make it run. That's what I want it to do. So I'm going to put it in here, make it go behind this tree. You know, if you a lot of people make the water run straight out at you, and it hits those meadows up there in the mountains, and it'll go back and forth across a meadow and create some nice distance for you. Yeah, this is more what I want for the rocky. The paint is set up now. So. And make these rocks a little bit different. I keep working that sh the shadows in. I'm going to put the horse out in this pasture. It's not going to be a pasture, but it's going to be a meadow. And I'll also start some boulders here and run them around the river. You have to keep that stroke going. When you do the water, just kind of feel the way it's going. And don't be timid, just go right after it. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is take a little paint out of here and put a horse in there with a brush. And that's legal, I guess. This horse is not going to be very big. This horse is going the same way as mine did over there, and that in my two-minute one. But uh, I've taken a little more time to, to have this and doing what I wanted to do. I could be eating, grazing out there. And then I can pop some highlights on him later. And I know that this is probably be the way I'd camp, about right here. Got plenty of water, got firewood, and he's probably got a trout line in his pocket. The campfire I'd put about right here. It looks like a forest fire, don't it? I tuned that down. <laughs> what 
Come on, look at that. I hope that you guys really like that. I know I uh, I don't dislike it. <laughs> <laughs>